Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Trustfire. Now this is their T62. Now I was sent this by Trustfire directly. They wanted me to test and review this light. Maximum output is 3600 lumens. Comes in this box. We're going to look at specs here. Now it's in Chinese and English, but just to show you there. Now this is running the famous, world famous that is, the Cree XHP70 LED. Show you over here some more. Now if you need more time to read these, go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise, let's get this open and see what's in. And we have an O-ring set there. We have a small little user manual. Now the nice thing about this is that you can also run a third battery in here to give you extended run time, which is nice. Take the light out of the way. Here's the extra tube there you can add it to it and I think I'm gonna go ahead and add it to it and I'll make sure that I add the same three battery types in there as well that's all that's in there so now we're gonna go ahead take a look here at the tube might have to add a little bit of grease to this we'll have to see yeah, there's a little bit on there we'll just go ahead and add a little more before we put that on there now let's go ahead and take a look at the light now I notice here that it already has the lanyard on it so they must do that themselves saves you a lot of hassle this is a large lanyard as you can see alright so now let's go ahead and take a look at the light look at that this is a long barrel light A lot of heat sinking here as well as down here so that should help with cooling it's got the tail clicky there you could use it with that additional tube on there use it as a weapon if needed if you do security or law enforcement now the only thing would have been nice if they had included a holster just to kind that slip in and leave the bottom of the barrel exposed that would have been a nice little addition but of course cost would have went up a little bit more probably now I'm sure you can get a holster that's open-end design online uh, so that will help you there style and design on this is very nice hold it in there use it as tactical if you want it's got some indentations here usually put that in there holding that around machining and finish on this is very nice really smooth but almost has like a flat black look to it but it's real smooth but the way you look at it, it almost looks like it has a little shine to it trust fire has been around a very long time I have done reviews on my old blog online back in 2007 and uh, these things really were amazing back then I really can't wait to see how well this does Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the deep textured reflector. 
try to get the glare of the light out of there. Running the Cree XHP 70.2 LED. Try to get an angle out there where there's not a glare. There we go. That looks really good. All right. Now let's go ahead and open this up. And I'll show you the insides. Straight contact point there on the tail. Does have some grease on the threads. Now this does come with batteries, so this is a complete kit. So that's really nice. I'll go ahead and take the batteries out. As you can see here, they come with protected cells. These are going to be a little longer than your normal unprotected cells. These are 3400 milliamp. So it's going to give you a lot of power. Good run time on these. These are 8 amp cells. So the protection circuit should be right about that as well. Nice to see that they include at least two. Now if you're going to be running three cells then you're going to need three identical batteries. I have a way that I label my batteries. I label them to the light. They live and die with it. So if I charge them together when they go bad I get three new ones. I don't switch and mismatch batteries. It's just a thing I've been doing for so long. That's the way I am. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on this other barrel. and I'm going to use some other batteries that I have here and I promoted them as well in my past videos so it'll be good I have three of those so now show you the head of the light there okay now we'll go ahead and put it all back together. Make sure those are tight. Barrel is a little bit different than here, so it's definitely going to stand out a little bit as far as design, but it's not, doesn't look that bad. Kind of wish they had incorporated the same design on this end here, that would have made it look ideal. It doesn't look bad like that. So now let me grab some batteries here. Okay, so now I'm going to bring out the three batteries I'm going to use. Here are some of my favorite cells. These are the EFES purple cells. They are purple. And uh, I've had some really good luck with these. These are an unprotected 18650, 2500 milliamps. These are a 20 amp cell. So underneath these, these are the 25 are from Samsung really a top quality battery it's going to give you a lot of power especially for this LED that's in this light so we're going to go ahead and uh, start loading them down in there and it is recommended that you use a slightly raised cell or a button top like I have there that way it'll make a good connection so I'll put the tail cap back on here all right now that is really long. Like those long barrel lights. I've had them since I was little with the mag lights, especially the old Ever Ready lights. I used to have some three cell Ever Ready lights as well as two D size. And uh, <laughs> I even had the old six D cell light that had the multi lights, the fluorescent on the side. Man, it just brings back a lot of memories that uh, lighting has been in my life for quite some time but it's nice to see that long barrels are still popular and that they're making them especially with the updated technology and battery behind them makes a real good defense weapon if you're using it for security or law enforcement all right now really simple and easy on the UI there's no memory mode on this so it always starts off on high we're going to go through that now. 3600 lumens. Man, 
that is bright there's the beam here see the spill is pretty wide nice little cut off here huge hot spot there a lot of bleeding on the edges not too bad though that'll help give it some throw beautiful combination beam I can see it XHP 70 is a very popular LED and then you're gonna simply half press the tail switch here got strobe is in line and of course you have SOS and it is a little slow but it is on the full light outputs on that strobe and SOS and then it goes right back to the last light output you had it on and that's all there is to this light simple easy to use you can use this even as long as it is for tactical <laughs> yeah wow all right well I can't wait to see how this does outside in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the trust fire long barrel light so it's going to start off on the highest output so we're going to go ahead and go to the tree of life now it's been raining here so it's still a little bit hazy out there it is tree of life there 138 feet look at the spill on that <laughs> world famous Cree XHP 70.2 there we go before after and we got that usually making the school now this is not going to be a super dedicated thrower but it's definitely a nice combination beam leading a little more towards the floody side usually making that tree faintly making a tree behind it that's 238 feet so that's still impressive making those trees way out there as you can see look at the beam on this wider than my phone usually making the park you can see making that second park with these sixty five feet to that tree, of course, tree line, fence line, do a beam profile here. That's a little cool too. That's gonna help with run time here, keeping the light cool that is. And we're gonna go down to the next level on the park. Let's check it out. Now there is a little bit of PWM, as you can see, so it's, I can't see it with my eyes, but it is on the camera, as you can see there, so definitely still making a tree of life, so that's impressive. 35 feet to that water spout while I'm standing. Still making it across the park there, as you can see. We'll go down to the next level here. And PWM is still there. Can't see it with my eyes. going to go ahead and stop it now because the next one down on the UI is the flashing strobe and SOS and I hope you enjoyed those night shots okay welcome back hope you enjoyed those night shots really solid performance on this light like the fact that you can run it on two batteries 
it is included in the kit are two 18650s really nice powerful cells um, I've had trust fire cells in my collection I've bought over the years and they've always been quality cells now there's a lot of fakes on the market so make sure you get the ones that have the scratch area where you can validate the battery as well as that being on the bottom of the protection plate make sure that has it if it doesn't most likely it is a fake cell so getting back to the light uh, very nice performance a lot of throw on this um, adding that extra battery I think is is very much needed especially for this LED draws a lot of power so if you want the best run times using that third cell it's going to improve that um, it may doesn't really mess with the light output it just the run times are increased so really nice solid design build quality is very nice not seeing any issues it's a pretty basic little kit now I also like the fact uh, that it is a long barrel kinda have a a fond memories of long barrels for very long time so it's nice to see these I do have quite a few of them because I I do actually like them I actually carry them in my jacket sometimes I'm out and about so it's just still use them quite a bit um, as well as the smaller ones so I want to thank Trustfire for sending me this kit to review now if this is something you are interested in getting I'll leave a link in the description area to their Amazon store and that way you can get this shipped to you quickly if you're an Amazon Prime member you'll even get it quicker well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these trust fires to you in the future thanks for watching take care